Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing, it means a lot. So in today's video guys, we'll show you how to test electric fan, the engine fan on BMW guys. Uh, and this one will work on any BMW, probably past 1996. So we have that E90 3-series 2006-7 model, I think. And uh, <coughs> the procedure will be the same for all of them, okay. And let me show you how you can test your fan now. Okay, you can see the electric fan is right here. Never ever stick your fingers close to it, ever, during the test. Stay away. We will not even need to do anything under the engine hood. I'll show you what tools we use, guys. And if you're really into car diagnostics, okay, I'll definitely recommend having that tool. We'll have it listed in the description of the video below. Okay, this is the tool. Okay, this is uh, the programming device that comes with it and you just connect it to the OBD port. Okay, you can see this is just the OBD port. Right there. And what you need to do after that? Okay, you will need to turn the ignition on. Okay, but I'm not prepared so let me just go grab the key. Sorry for that. We're shooting quite a few videos guys, coming more. We have more than 200 videos on that BMW on how to repair guys, our main channel. So please give it a like. Keys are here, okay. So let me show you how to test it now. It's a complicated fan with a module that controls the speed as well. So it's hard to, and I would not recommend just sticking positive and negative wire to test it. In our case, we need to turn the ignition on Okay, ignition is on, like that. Now this is the tool that we'll be using. And that thing, you can do diagnostics even on Ferraris if you want to. Okay, we've used it on so many cars. What I usually do, I click a VIN right here, auto detect, so it can detect the car on its own and I don't have to manually select 2006, BMW 325XI and all that, so it can do it for you. And that function works nine out of 10 times. Sometimes it doesn't, okay. Click okay for the VIN number confirmation. You can see, yes, it has the N52 engine. So we're still waiting, ignition, ignition is on, the car is not running. Now, let me show you, okay, to which function we need to go. You can check the battery voltage as well, 11.8 volts. So it's still it's still pretty good for the ignition being on for the last 30 minutes. Because I actually forgot it on earlier. It's loading all the data now. After that, it will show you all the different menus and options. This is pretty much like a Dewar level 2. You can do programming, you can do ECU programming, you can you can do so many things with it. And that's why I love it. It paid itself in less than a few months that I've been using it. So <coughs> updates are released all the time as well. Okay, you can see it's loading now, reading the control unit information. Yeah, it's almost ready. Perfect. Now, we will need, you have two options here. Well, actually a few on this one. Diagnostic service, hot function, programming vehicle profile. We'll go to diagnostics. We'll select control unit. Then we'll go to drive. Drive includes the engine and the transmission module. This is for diesel engines. Ours is regular gas engine. So we select this one. Now we need to go to active test. Under active test, okay, you can see that you have electric fan, okay electric fan right here and also you're going to have okay let me see if we have it on this one box fan box fan is the fan uh, for the little computer uh, for the little box that contains the car computers but we need to go under electric fan to test the big fan you can see the activation temperature okay needs to be 115 degrees for the fan to work okay now we're going to click, right now it says it's not running. I'll click activate and listen for the fan to turn on. Okay, listen now. 
activation for 20 seconds. Okay, the fan is running like crazy. Now I'll click deactivate and it will stop it. After that, activate and it will run again. Okay, listen now. It will run all the way on high. Okay, perfect. Now I just want to go back and see the box fan if we can hear it, so you know what to expect. Okay, e box fan. Activate. Okay, I can hear it, but I don't think you'll be able to hear it in the video. So that's it, guys. That's how we test the fan on BMW. Uh, that too is pretty, pretty simple to use. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and many more videos to come.